Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to customize our menu a bit. Here's the regular menu and this is just a regular default menu set up here and we're going to add this little hover effect so you've got an underline under each item when you hover over it and the active item will stay like that also really easy to do with a bit of custom CSS and while I'm doing this I'll put the CSS below the video so you don't need to copy it while I'm doing it if you want to use it you're welcome to so let's get started I'm gonna close this page out and today we're gonna to be putting custom CSS in our Divi theme options we're on the general tab and theme options uh, custom CSS is just down the bottom here you can also get to it from your theme customizer it's at the bottom additional CSS here but we'll be actually putting it in here I find it easier to see on the dark background so let's get started if I refresh this page oh, I don't need to it's all gone now I'm using Google Chrome here with the inspector tools and I'm simply going to right click on the element I want to edit and hit inspect and there it is right there and if we look here it says top menu A what I want to do is give it a border on the bottom so I'm going to start writing, I'm going to left click just after the opening curly bracket top menu A and I want to give it a border on the bottom of say 2 picks solid and I'll just say blue for the time being, we're going to change this around in a minute and as you can see it's actually added those there and there they are on the bottom which is fine now when we're doing this in the Chrome inspector you've got to remember we're not writing this into the theme yet we're just doing it on our page here so when we refresh this will all disappear and go back to how it was until we actually copy the CSS code and put it in our custom CSS box here so we put in that border bottom to pick solid blue but there's too much of a gap there for me I want it to be a lot closer to the actual word than that so I want to put a margin we'll say padding on the bottom padding the amount of space between there and there let's give it some padding of say 10 pixels top and bottom say top and bottom will be 10 pixels and then left and right will be 0 pixels and we'll have to say important because it's already got some padding written in here somewhere there'll be another padding so I'm going to write exclamation mark important don't like using this important class there we are it's happened there unless I have to but here we have to it looks like and as you can see they've popped up a lot closer there but it's pulled everything up there from the bottom of the margin so we want to add a bit more on the bottom of a margin to just push this back down below our little underlines there so I'm going to say margin, bottom, try 20, that might not be quite enough, let's have a look, 20 pixels, yeah actually that looks just exactly right, it's sort of gone back down to where it should be, fantastic. And we also want the link itself, when we hover over it, to turn blue that's the current link that's right it's blue it's set to that in our customizer so we want to say uh, color blue and again we'll have to use the import on that because it's already got a default color which is right there there we go that's turned it all blue fantastic okay so now what we're going to do we're going to copy this code we've written and, and write it into our 
actual custom CSS box. So I'm left clicking and selecting from the hashtag to the semicolon at the end of the bit of CSS that we wrote there, important. And I'll have to add another curly bracket when I put this in there because you've always got to have a closing one if you've got an opening one. Control C to copy or you can right click and hit copy this way, however you like to do it. Back to our custom CSS box. I'll give it a title so we know what it is. If you've got a lot of CSS, it helps to have titles in there. Forward slash star star forward slash and in between the stars we'll put our title. That way it'll be commented out. And if I just drop down below, paste in what I copied there and got to put an ending curly bracket on. There it is. Just drop that down the next line. So we've got an opening curly and a closing and our CSS is within that. Okay, that's great, but I only want this to happen when it's in hover mode. Not, I don't want it to happen all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this again. I've already got it in my menu, but I'll copy top to bottom, hashtag to closing curly brackets, control C, drop down a couple. and paste it in there again. This second one, right after the A with no gap, I'm gonna put colon and no gap again. Really important, you don't put any gaps between the A, the colon and the hover. So when you hover over it, that's what it's gonna do. But when you don't, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make the border at the bottom white that way you won't see it. If I don't do this, let's spell that right. If I don't do this, the, when you hover over it, the, the letters will, the, the, the words will jump slightly because it's creating a two pix border. If I put a white one up there, the real estate's already taken up so it'll do it smoothly. Padding can stay the same. Margin bottom can stay the same. We don't want that color blue there. Remember, this is on the regular, not on the hover. And for the hover, we want all of the above. Now, as we've already got these in the regular state, we can delete them from the hover state because they will already apply. Let's save our changes until we get the check mark. Go back to the site. Get the inspector out of the way a minute and refresh. There we go. Well, we've got our link and they're changing color just like we want to. Obviously, you can put in any color that you want. I'm just using blue for demonstration here. Wherever I've got blue written, just put in the hex code for the color you want. Okay, but the active page, I want that to have a line under there too. So if I go to the next page, I want it to have a line underneath as well as being blue. So that's the current item. Let's inspect again. I'm inspecting the one, the page that we're on. And over here we can see current item, current menu item. Let's look down. Here it is right here. Top menu, this item, current item. So what I want to do is add the border to this. So border, bottom, two picks, solid, blue. There we go. Now, the actual color that it's giving it is that one, which is slightly different from our blue. I'll just change that to blue, actually. It may may overwrite that, let's give it the important. 
Okay, so they should be the same color now. Okay, so I want to copy this first. The actual, that's an ID because it's got a hashtag top menu. To the A, to the anchor tag, which is what we're affecting there. Control C to copy. Drop down a couple. And now let's go back and get the code that we wrote. Which is this here. Control C to copy. I'll have to put some opening and closing curlies in there. Here's the opener, and it puts a closing one there for you. Drop down and just paste the code in the middle. Okay, let's save this. Got our little check mark there. Get the inspector out of the way. This time, it should stay like that on the active page. There we go, so it's staying like that on whatever page we click on. That's a great page right there. Fantastic, and of course we've got our hover effect as well. So there's how to create a simple CSS underline hover effect on the menu. I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.